So I'm out here in the snow, in the winter, and I've got the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro. I think you can see them behind me, sitting out there. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a test today. The test is gonna be Wi-Fi versus OcuSync. Now, I know you're all saying, well, that's a ridiculous test because OcuSync's gonna win. Well, I know it's gonna win. But I wanna see how good the Wi-Fi is on the Mavic Air because DJI said they actually made the Wi-Fi better. So behind me is a forest. Now that forest is in depth, it's 100 meters in depth. So I'm gonna fly the drones over there and then I'm gonna lower them behind the forest and see if I still have signal. And if I do, then I'm gonna fly them the length of the forest back that way to the end and come around and see me. Now I'm pretty much guessing with OcuSync, I'm gonna get no video lag, no breakup, nothing. With Wi-Fi, I'm guessing maybe I should get a bunch of breakup or the drone should just return to home. Well, if the Wi-Fi is really good on the Mavic Air, then it should perform really well. So here's my test. All right, I can see right through the woods. I'm gonna start up the Mavic. And uh, we're gonna take this up to 35 meters. Here we go. Nice and high. And we're gonna go to the other side of the woods. Straighten this out, there we go. All right. The drone is on the other side of the woods. The woods are blocking my signal, but I have OcuSync. I'm gonna turn it around. Look back at the forest. 100 meters was too short, 120 meters was too short, 130 meters was too short. I had to go to 184 meters to clear the forest. Now I can look, turn around, look back. There's the forest. Look down. There we go, so I'm on the opposite side. I'm right over there. And what I'm gonna do, as you can see, there's not too much woods. There's a pond and everything right there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the height down to, uh, I'm at 33 meters, I'm gonna bring it down to 10 meters. There we go. So now the woods are directly across and the OcuSync is doing quite well. So now you can look, I can look at this side of the forest and this side of the forest with the Mavic. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fly all the way to the end of the forest and see if I can come around at this height. So here we go. Flying at 10 meters above the ground. The connection is really solid. Everything is super smooth. Got no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna go right out to that tree you see in the distance right out here and now I'm gonna to spin to the left and come around the forest follow this water trail get some kids out of the over there coming out of school and I'm gonna bring this around to me I'm all the way back this way out in the field there I am comes. Mavic, you are amazing. All right. Listen how quiet the Mavic Pro is. Like, look at it. I do have the upgraded props on it, but this thing here, you could fly it in a crowd of people. I'm just talking normally. That is really quiet. The Mavic Air is a massively loud compared to this thing. All right. So, no problem whatsoever with the Mavic Pro. Now, if the Mavic Air with Wi-Fi can do exactly the same thing, well then, guys, everybody should be buying the Mavic Air as well, because that's decent. All right, I got the Mavic Air down there. Same routine. Start her up. 
A lot noisier than the Mavic Pro. Take her up to a height of 35 meters. Flies a little slower too than the Mavic Pro. And there we go. Get up to 35 meters, put the camera down a bit. And fly 180 meters out. Straighten it too. So I've got the trees in the way out there. And we'll stop. There we go. 180 meters. Spin it around. So far so good. There's the forest. Looking down. I'm on the other side of that. And uh, let's bring you down to 10 meters. Right at 10 meters and... There we go. Same idea. So far it looks good. I can move this way. I can move the other way. Nice and responsive. No issues there. And let's fly straight out to the end of the forest. Let's see if we can keep a solid connection. So the Mavic Air is on the other side of that forest, and that forest is about 100 meters in width. Let's fly out to this tree. It's a little, little choppy video signal. It's chopping here and there, chopping, 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 chopping. Not the greatest. Oh, strong interference. Let's see if we can keep going. Let's see if I can turn it. There we go. Oh, breaking up. I've turned too far. That's one thing that's a little bit dangerous. When it gets choppy like that, you might oversteer and turn yourself right into a tree. So there we go, go in the water. Now, it should be getting better because it should be coming out and uh, facing me over here. And there I am. Come on, come on. There you are, Mavic Air. A little noisy, but... Uh... All I have to say is there's the forest. It's 100 meters wide. Sure, there's a spot in the center out here, uh, but still the Mavic Air did okay. Well done to the Mavic Air.